Hey guys, you'll have to excuse me for the lack of brightness on this one, but I just want to go over an earnings trade that you can possibly put on. The trades that have been working for me throughout this earnings season and throughout the stock market correction we're having, but it's more like a crash because individual names are down 50, 60, 70, 80%, while the indices are just down 5 to 10%, or the Nasdaq's closer to 20%, but we're seeing individual names take massive hits, like Affirm down from a peak of 175 now trading at 38 three months later we're talking about being down 78 percent in three months roblox another one but in today's video we're talking about deer because they have earnings coming out tomorrow morning in the pre-market so i put on 10 contracts of strangles and this is how you can take advantage of the volatility collapse that happens after earnings are released so if you take a look at the chart here you'll see all-time high was about 400 we're going to take a look at what the expected move is for deer before we place a trade but as you can see uh, we have support down at 372 at the 50 ema and then we have more support uh, all the way down at the 350 for sure when we uh, had the aggressive sell off january 24th so what we can do is pull up DE on uh, interactive brokers. So for DE, this is what you see. Look at this spike in volatility. It's 107%. Why? Because earnings are going to come out. After earnings is out, this will collapse back down closer towards 50%. And you'll see this tomorrow if you have uh, some, if you, if you look up the volatility for DE tomorrow. So what happens is when we, we sell the options today, if the stock price moves, it doesn't matter because the volatility will collapse tomorrow. And volatility is what changes the prices of these options. We, if you take a look at the skew, we see there's a huge put skew on the, the strikes here. So we'll get more money for the puts. And we'll go ahead and pull it up here. So it's expiring February 18th. We're going to put this trade on together. It's at 2.55 p.m. Right now, it's trading at 3.82. So the expected move is $10 plus $10. is about $20 is the expected move. So tomorrow, it's expected to be just over 400 or at about 360 so what we'll do is we'll go just outside of the expected move. We'll, we'll go just below the 350 strike. We said that there was good support at 350, but to be safe, we'll go a little below that. So we'll choose 345 on the put side. And then to the upside, we'll go just above an all-time high. Uh, we could do 410 or we could do 420. We'll go in between do 415 because it could hit 405 to 410, but not break 410. That's what I'm, that's what I'm assuming. So we'll put 10 contracts of this trade on. And you'll, if we look at the profile, we'll see that tomorrow, February 18th, if, if DE is trading at 420, then our loss will be $3,000. If it's trading at 340, then our loss will be $2,400. So basically, small loss as long as it trades between 340 and the 420. Break even is at 342 and 417. So we're going to go ahead and put on this trade now. We're going to be collecting 2,000. Uh, we're going to go for the mid price. There's a big split on this. So we'll put the position in. Not likely to get filled right away because we chose the mid position. So we might change this to 55. And we got filled at 255. So we put on 10 contracts, selling the 345 strike, selling the 415 strike, and we got $2.55 per contract times 10 contracts times 100 shares is $2,550 that we got paid up front as long as DE trades between those two strikes by tomorrow. And we'll get the volatility collapse and we'll be able to close it out for a gain as long as the stock stays between those two strikes. It's highly risky when you do a naked uh, put or naked call, but if you go ahead, you can do an iron condor to be safer. And I'll show you that one because it caps the loss. So what most people could do to be safer and actually cap the loss would be to sell the 350 and then buy the 345 on the downside. And then on the upside, sell the 410 and then buy the 415 call. So now you'll get a uh, about 60 cents per contract and you could do 20 contracts and you know, margin impact would be $8,000. But what you'll see is you'll collect about uh, $1,080 for putting this trade on. Max loss is 8,900 and you only pay that loss if tomorrow the, the, the stock is trading at 345 or below or 415 or above. And that's you can see by the curve here. So on Iron Condor, at least your max loss, no matter what, if it hits that, will be 8,900. Whereas max loss could be infinity. Because what if 
DE goes down 50% tomorrow or if it goes up 50% tomorrow. If it does that, then my loss will be much, much greater than the 8,900. It could be 40,000 instead of 8,900. So to be safer, you cap the loss and this is a trade that most other people would put on. The margin impact is 8,400 and you collect $1,000 for one day overnight. So if you're looking for strategies to collect 1,000 a day, this is what you do in earnings. Uh, use iron condors and go for the volatility collapse that happens the day after. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe for more options trading videos and strategies just like this. And I'll see you in the next video.